morning, guys. Sorry about that. Whatever. So, I want to um, catch you up on stuff that has been going on. Um, I don't know if you know what ha is going on with Canada right now. If any of you guys are from Canada. There has been several wildfires in Canada. Different parts of Canada, which is which is happening from that since there's so much smoke from Canada it is coming down into the United States so in these videos you will see that there's a lot of smoke and it is not good for people that have asthma and a couple of other things that the news said but unfortunately for me I have asthma so it has been bothering me a lot so the past like few days that we had to deal with that I had to carry my inhaler around me it, it was not a fun time but you'll see in these videos that why I was having my shirt over my face was so I was having an easier time breathing and not having such a hard time but yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video <laughs> After we got to like the bottom of Virginia, very close to North Carolina, I was able to breathe again because there is not that much smoke down there, which thank God, because it was honestly quite annoying needing to use my inhaler like at least two or three times a day because of how bad it was very hard for me to breathe and covering my, using my shirt to cover my nose and my mouth. But anyways, it's back to normal for right now. Knock on wood. Um, but a couple of other things I did want to catch you guys up on. Um, number one, why moving? <clears throat> so it's not... Oh, pretty bird. Blue jack. Sorry. <laughs> so us personally, we're not moving. Um, someone we know, um, they need to put their stuff in our storage to keep it safe. Because I'm not going to get into that situation. Because it's just... It's too personal and I just don't want to get into that right now because it's their personal life I don't want to get their personal life online Anyways, sorry. We're at a drop yard. Hold on Anyways other than that news um Besides that um, my best friend. She's like literally my sister. I've known her since she was five turning six and I was like 10 turning 11 so we're like this close um so she just graduated and before she graduated i found out that she was um planning on going into the air force next year and i found that on tiktok i'm like no way so i obviously messaged her right away because this was totally new for me because i never she never told me that she wanted to go to the air force so for me this is like new i'm like dude are you like joking around or are you messing with me or like are you actually serious? She's like, no, I'm dead ass. Like, I'm dead serious. I'm like, you're kidding. So, I was kind of having a hard time with that because I took care of her for a couple of years because we were literally neighbors for the longest time. And so we had to move out of the house because my grandfather had passed. So...
Rude. Very cemented. Oh, please. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, I was messaging her of, like, you know, how I felt, and I was scared that she would, like, die and stuff. And, like, that there'd be a totally different person, because that type of stuff happens, because, you know, you're in the military, and stuff like that happens if you're going to go into war. But over time, I just settled down, thank God, because it was honestly quite annoying. Being like, oh my God, is my best friend ever going to die? Oh my gosh, she me a totally different person. But <laughs> thank God I grew out of that. So, yeah, that's part of, re of a reason my friend going into the military that's a part of a reason why i've been kind of so distant but i'm working on being consistent with you guys so you guys will be seeing a much more videos coming shortly and i am seeing that a lot more people are subscribing hey everyone um but i do want to update you on a little couple of stuff with the truck so i know a couple of weeks ago we had to get the ac fixed because the ac literally broke it literally was like yeah i'm not gonna work anymore i'm just gonna blow out warm air which wasn't the one it for me and michael so we obviously got that fixed because you know we need to have a seizure in the summer so we got that fixed comes to last weekend so it's been so hot that the camera fell down literally just fell down because the hot the the hot heat is on the um, windshield, which is like making the adhesive like melt. So it fell down. So we had to go down to Georgia because of that. So we obviously got the camera fixed, but before we got to Georgia, the AC broke again. We we're like, are you kidding me? We just got that thing fixed, but we'll have to find out what's going on. I just found this tiny, tiny, little grape in the grape bag because I'm putting all the fruit in like a Tupperware thingy and I found this little tiny one how cute you want to eat it sure uh -huh. <laughs> so these chocolate chip dough bites right here they are so good you can get them at any truck stop loves pilot flying jay petro and I would 100% recommend them. They were so good. Every single time we go to a truck stop, I try my best to get them because they're just so good to not get. So, we got the camera fixed. Thank God. It's back in its normal place. Um, but we did get the AC fixed too. Um, Michael asked last time if there was like a leakage or whatever. They said no last time. But apparently there was. But they fixed it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's been really crazy. And it's been mainly of me sitting down and filling you guys in what's going on. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment any suggestions down below of what videos you would like to see. Or just suggestions anyways um, hit the subscribe button if you guys have not yet definitely hit that notification so you get notified when we post a brand new video we'll see you guys shortly